po. Ikaw po. Lagi ng panawagan ang abang kaluluwa ang sa iyo ay sumasamo. Anan, diwata ng umaga, munag sumala ng bukang luwayway, kahit tulutan ang sinag mo ay masinayan sa malawak na kalangitan. Panginoong may kapal, may ari at may yari na tumbong sa sinuban, Bigyan mo rin ang panibagong buhay, yaring nila lang na iyong nilikha. Apulaki, iwata ng araw. Bigyan kami ng sigla at ang bagong saysay ng aming mas isagawa ang kapiran. Alang-alang sa iyong dakilang kapurihan. Dakilang may kapal, munag sumalahanan. Mayari at apulaki, bigyan liwanag ang sanglibutan at pahintulutan ang kapayapaan ay maghari, magmula ngayon at magpa sa walang hanggan. Apoy na walang hanggan, liwanag na mula sa kaitaasan. Pumasok ka sa tambana mong hiram at dito manahan magmula ngayon hanggang magpakilanman. Ako'y nawalang hanggan, ningning mo at kariktan, magninga sa aming buhay, magmula ngayon at magpa sa walang hanggan. Ako'y nawalang hanggan, liwanag na mula sa kanununuan, patnubay mo at gabay, biyay at pagpapala mo ay aming kailangan magmula ngayon hanggang magpakilanman. Glory and honor to the great power that created us and the whole universe. Thank you for this new day and for the new hope that we have received right now. We are offering this day to you with all of our life, thoughts, emotion, and strength. May this, be, may this offering be worthy before you as you guide us this day of our life that we may do your will. Make us an instrument of your blessings for our family and to the world. Make us worthy this day that we may become an image of your glory. From darkness, you make your light shine to guide us always. May your sacred light protect us from harm. Your great love will always reign into our life as we will always dwell in your love. And all of our actions we are offering back to you for the sake of your great love for us. May your love always remain in us so that our life will always be blessed. For there is one power in the universe and we are the great manifestation of that power. And for as such, we pray for peace. We pray for peace. We pray for love. And we pray for stability. We pray that all the people around the world to embrace peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as product of knowledge and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love. O oh, great Supreme Divine Spirit, we come before you, your children, and ask you to bless us with courage. Courage that makes love and peace to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and worries around the world. By the power of love that gives us life, may peace prevails on earth. 
May all the people around the world be blessed with peace. May all the inhabitants of Mother Earth enjoy the blessings of love as we create and manifest this in our life. By our unified will with aiming no harm to anyone and in full gratitude to the divine, we accept and receive this and it is so, so mote it be. And good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to everyone. I just realized that while streaming live a while ago, performing the Sunrise Peace Prayer Devotion, <laughs> I don't have an audio. So, I intend to rebroadcast right now. And at least now, I have... <laughs> So, at least I have an audio right now, no? Um, I don't know what is happening uh, all the time that there is a technical difficulty uh, of having that, uh, no, audio. Probably I might go directly and don't use V8 anymore. Uh, V8, I usually use the V8 on live streaming at Digo, but right now uh, I take a break, a hiatus, and focus on the Shrine and Hilot Academy. Okay, uh, I will not repeat the offering because we already have conducted the offering already, uh, the prayer, morning ritual, but I want to discuss now the message of peace that been delivered a while ago. As we have written uh, on the note that what we define today is what our tomorrow will perceive. It is important that we know ourselves. This is the first principle that been taught to us in the Coralian tradition. Even when we were a child, diba? our parents used to teach us who we are, our identity. What is that reason? No? Uh, probably the reason of our parents or of our mom when we accidentally got lost, at least we know who we are. We could tell our name, where we live, how old we are, who is our mother, who is our father. No? So that uh, people who found us could easily locate, retrieve us or return us back home. And most of the time when we are uh, in this adult life, you know, uh, many of us lose our identity because of many roles and duties that we are taking. You know? And in a certain individual, indeed that we have many roles that, that we play in our life. First, we are a child of our parent. If we have siblings, we might be a brother or sister to them. Then when we go out, we become friends, classmates, office mates. Then as we continually grow and get mature, we become a lover. And lastly, if you reach a certain age, like uh, age of maturity, you will become a father or a mother. And it doesn't stop there. Because in, in our life, we become Lolo and Lola, we become grandparents too. In this many role of our life we are taking, no? people will have their understanding towards us depending on the actions we do for them, on how we interact with them, on how we, we talk and communicate with them. 
But sadly, people are trying to define us by what they see. Such as when we we see the celebrities on 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 television or in movie, we fall in love with them because of the roles that they portray on on social media or uh, 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 on television or in the movies. So as the social media influencers and everything, we might know them because of the character they are uh, playing in front of the camera and probably uh, you might also think the same about me because you see me on camera you may think that no oh, Apu is a peace weaver etc etc although this uh, aspect of my personality is just a one part of the reality that you can see and the whole truth has not been revealed yet Yesterday, I received an interview, uh, uh, a call, and interviewed me about the status of Hilot in the Philippines. And as I made a review on, on, on the law that being proposed by Senator Manny Pacquiao and uh, Senator uh, Ramon Revilla Jr., no, they, might, they have missed the point of identifying what is Hilot. Because there is a law, a proposed law, that wanting to regulate the practice of Hilot. And the practitioner of Hilot, Albulario, and faith healing must be required to have a license. They should apply to a government agency so that uh, allowing them to practice spiritual healing, practice Albulario, practice uh hilot you know we don't have problem with that but the problem is they are trying the, the the government is is now attempting to regulate the practice of faith healing so will that mean faith healing will be regulated laying of hands in churches will be regulated praying oration will be uh, regulated no although if they push that we will have a problem on 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 that because they might be violating the constitutional uh, provision of freedom of religion and separation of uh, of the church and the state i know our legislators are intelligent enough to see uh, those things. No? So I pray that the light of God will shine upon them to see what is wrong with the proposed law. But the other thing that I saw is the definition of Hilot for them and the category where they place Hilot. For me and for us, everyone know Hilot is Philippine traditional medicine. And traditional medicine is different from alternative medicine. Don't let their understanding of alternative medicine put Hilot into that position alternative means it's a foreign healing modality that been applied to us although right now conventional medicine is the allopathic medicine that been practiced by doctor even that one is a foreign medicine for us filipino but the law have stated that he lot the he lot as Filipino healing tradition is foreign because it's not it's not been practiced by the medical doctors. Although, no, uh, I'm not a legislator. I'm not a lawyer. But they should, I think, uh, 
they should give a clear definition of what is alternative medicine, of what is allopathic medicine, what is complementary medicine, what is conventional medicine, what is integrative medicine, what is indigenous medicine, what is prophetic medicine, what is natural medicine. If they want to improve the healthcare delivery system in our country, law making is very important because through the law a certain thing will be defined and when it is being legalized or being created as a law it will become a point of reference in the future that our future generation will understand in accordance to what is written in the law if we don't speak up, if we don't raise, r rise up to tell them what is the truth about their definition, no, parang majority wins. All the people know that this is what it is. And you who practice what is right, they will define you as a fraud spam and giving misinformation to the public so as early as now we should make an appeal to redefine or to study again and understand what hilot is it is not a foreign modality it is a traditional it is the medicine of our ancestors before the modern medicine arrived in our country. Today, it might not be accepted because it's ancient healing practice. But it is not a foreign modality. It is indigenous to our land. No, It is indigenous. It is native. It is natural to our country to practice hilot and it is not alternative nor complementary no indeed right now it becomes a complement or it can incorporate to the allopathic or to the modern medicine it can go along that's why it can be a complementary or integrative but let's allow the professional define that but for us let us tell them, A, you might be uh, misrepresenting or, or, or wrongly defining what is hill. Of course, when people say something wrong about you, you don't allow them to continue that, diba? You don't allow to, uh, that thing to continue. Because it might damage your own reputation and your identity of who you are. So in order for a person properly define you, they should have an interaction. They should know you well. Not through communication, to be your friend, and so on and so forth. Diba? And building relationship is not just sitting over for an hour, for a day. But it takes long period of time. Even in the relationship of husband and wife, diba? the secret for, for that, I, as I've heard, or as I interviewed old people, uh, they, they have courting rituals. No? The ritual goes years, not only for days. Because nowadays, courting ritual, when they see, when they chat, they're together. That's so easy. How, uh, uh, even though that they, it is easy to, to have a relationship online, there is also a tendency that they separate easily also in a, in a short period of time. But building a long-lasting relationship also takes time. So as on studying or, or in creating this law, no, 
uh, I think we should spend more time studying and learning it and 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 applying it so that we could experience it no so that we could clearly define what is helot so as in your identity in your personality do not allow other people to define you according to what they want you to be but define yourself let other people know who you are because you are who you are you are special you are unique show to the people that you are special show to the world that you deserve to be loved show to the world that you have your own power you have your own authority because you are who you are I think this is the message that Lunti Ang Agama wants you to have in your life value the identity that God has, has given you in your life value the gift of the divine that resides within you and use it how will you know that you have a gift how will you benefit from the gift of God that is within you this gift can be used no this gift can be used the breath of life the life that is within you is within you no one can handle that no it is in your hand to take care of yourself and to use that life according to the will of God but what is the will of God in your life the will of God for you is to grow and progress do it right now grow be prosperous and I know God will richly bless you right now and this is God's will for every one of us so until then may you all blessed be peace mayari na pagasatin hi ma'am matilda daos lasero kamusta 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 and good morning paalam ayun meron pang uh, humabol so good, magandang magandang umaga magpapaalam po ako thank you thank you thank you bye